Hi, Red Hat developers. This is Jason with the Red Hat Developers Program. Welcome back to the Dev Zone at Summit 2017. Today with us we have Nicholas Grenier from 3Scale by Red Hat, and he's going to show us. To, he's going to talk to us about revolutionizing hackathons at today's Code Starter. Um, so really uh, glad to be here. It's my first summit, um, and uh, as Jason said, I'm part of 3Scale. Uh, we've been uh, in the Red Hat family for just a year. Um, so today we're going to talk about uh, the different hackathons and specifically something that's happening tonight, uh, the Code Starter. So I'm Nicholas Grenier. Uh, I'm a developer advocate, developer evangelist at, um, at 3Scale. You can find me on the different social media uh, through my username. And as we're uh, developers, you can find me on GitHub as well with the, the same username. Um, and I work for uh, Three Scale. So Three Scale, uh, I'm sure you've seen it this morning. Uh, we do uh, API management, uh, and we have announced a bunch of stuff today through uh, on-premise and uh, containerization. So if you do stuff with APIs, uh, you could be really interested. Um, by sense, uh, we are all hackers. Uh, the whole developer community uh, around I mean, around here. Uh, and in our company, we uh, love hackathons. We love uh, doing stuff with APIs uh, through our own APIs, through uh, people APIs, uh, our clients' APIs. So we've been uh, to a ton of other of events. We've run a few events. This is uh, one of our uh, spring hack. It was our internal hackathon. Um, but, um, you know, it's a typical hackathon, right? Uh, it's an open subject. People come with ideas of what they want to hack on. Uh, as this one was internal, we were encouraged to uh, do stuff with uh, the product. Uh, and trying to find extension, trying to find interesting use case for, for the business. Um, but uh, you're used to this format, so usually it takes two days. Um, there's a, a sense of uh, competition. Uh, you don't really limit uh, what you have to do with it, so there are no specific guidelines. Um, you don't know what you're going to get from it as a, as a hacker. Uh, you don't know what you, what you should expect to learn, what you're going to expect to, to achieve. Um, and also, there's something that uh, it could be annoying if you go to Hackathon is the unfair judging. So I may do an awesome app on, uh, on mobile, uh, but if the, the judge panel is not really interested by mobile, they're more into like the AI stuff. Um, although you've built a great thing, uh, you might not have a chance to win this. Um, and as you're a sponsor, when you're a sponsor, and a few companies here may be interested to sponsor this type of competition, uh, you're not guaranteed that your brain will be visible. Uh, so you're not guaranteed that uh, people will try your API. They're not guaranteed that they will uh, give you feedback on the tool. So we decided to come up with a new format. Uh, it's called SpeedHack. So uh, that's a format that came uh, three, four years ago. Uh, and we decided to put that for our partners at our API conference, uh, the API Strategy Conference. Um, the idea was to do a, a hackathon on steroids, uh, meaning that on a limited amount of time, people will uh, be able to uh, discover a bunch of APIs through a bunch of puzzles and challenges. So it benefits uh, both the attendees and the sponsors. Also, it benefits uh, a conference because before, if you wanted to do a classical hackathon, you will ask people to come maybe two days before the conference, which is usually super hard. Uh, and, uh, or if you do it during the conference, people will miss the interesting uh, topic, the interesting content they came for. Um, so instead, we decided to uh, take it short, just a three hours period of time, um, and uh, having different challenges. So we did six to eight challenges. They should take 15 minutes each. Uh, and the team that solves most of the challenges uh, win points and uh, get a reward. There is a, a sense of real-time competition, because during the event, we had a, a leaderboard. Um, and so as you were progressing to the challenges, uh, you were uh, getting up in the leaderboard and you were able to, to get points. And so there was a sense of uh, urgency of like, ah, we had to get better than the other team. Um, and for the sponsors, you are guaranteed that your uh, API will be uh, tried by uh, hackers and they will stop at your table asking for feedback. And so you had a, a, a better engagement with the developer community. Uh, we've done it three times um, at different places, Chicago, Berlin, and Paris. This is an open for format, uh, so we'll be happy to do that in other places. And um, we've worked with a bunch of different sponsors, uh, with a bunch of different APIs doing crazy things, um, and people have come up with crazy challenges. So uh, the Twilio guys, for example, they, they did a, a game where it was answering random numbers and calling random numbers. Uh, super fun stuff. So bunch of fun uh, and a, a lot of learning from uh, the developer perspective. 
but we can still innovate on the format for hackathons. There's still a big room uh, to uh, come with something new, get people engaged, get people excited, uh, and provide a fun experience. And you will see that through what's going on right now in the hackathon scenes. So people will just say, okay, the only way to innovate will be changing the, the, the space where we're doing this. Uh, so people will say, okay, we should do a hackathon on, a, on the plane, which is fun. Uh, we should do a hackathon on a bus, which is also fun. Uh, on a train. I've done uh, bus and plane so f uh, and train so far, missing the plane. Uh, but it's still the same format. You still spend a limited amount of time in a, in a small case, in a small space, um, and you don't ever have really guidance, and again, you don't know what you're going to learn from it. So instead, we decided to do, try and do something better, and that's going to be for you tonight, uh, the world premiere, uh, as we announced on the developer blog uh, before the, the conference, we're going to do tonight at Red Hat Summit. 6 p.m. Room 210A. All right, bunch of like magic going around. Um, so imagine a, a really nice uh, trailer. Uh, we're gonna launch and do the first API escape room. And while I'm talking, I have two colleagues actually play testing the game, making sure the game works. Um, and actually, it seems harder than we thought. Uh, but I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of fun. We have three hours to solve uh, the escape room. If you're not familiar with an escape room, uh, it's usually a physical game, a physical puzzle. So you get uh, close into a room and your goal is to escape with your team. Uh, and you're gonna try to get all the clues that are around you. You're gonna open the books, you're gonna uh, turn on the lights, you're gonna find a locker, you're gonna tear down the whole room to find clues and make progress. We're gonna do the same thing, but as we're API people, as we're developers, we're gonna put some API in it. And I'm not going to spoil you the whole game, but come later tonight and you, you will get a chance to, to see it. Um, we're going to have food as well and beers and a bunch of prizes for the team to win uh, if they succeed to be one of the first. So you can check out API Escape Room. Um, once we're done with the event, we're going to tell the story of how we've built it. We're going to tell the story of how it went. Uh, hopefully people find the solutions and hopefully people will find it exciting. Um, if you have any questions, uh, about how we run those events. If you are interested to run a similar event and get your community engaged, uh, come talk to me. Woohoo!